Hi, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. In this video, we will look into nitric oxide delivery and monitoring systems, also known as the NOx box. Let's look into the first uses of nitric oxide delivery systems. Nitric oxide gas is a molecule that plays a pivotal role in many physiological processes. In the cardiovascular system, nitric oxide is released by endothelial cells and acts as a vascular smooth muscle relaxant to induce systemic and pulmonary vasodilation. Because nitric oxide is rapidly inactivated by the reaction with oxyhemoglobin, inhaled nitric oxide acts as a pure pulmonary vasodilator with negligible systemic hemodynamic effects. In 1999, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, approved gaseous inhaled nitric oxide for the treatment of term and near-term, less than 34 weeks, neonates with hypoxic respiratory failure associated with clinical or echocardiographic evidence of pulmonary hypertension, where it improves oxygenation and reduces the need for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. In addition to its pulmonary vasodilator effect, nitric oxide displays a mild bronchodilator effect as well. In addition to its pulmonary vasodilator effect, nitric oxide displays a mild bronchodilator effect as well as antithrombotic and anti-inflammatory effects. In adult patients with ARDS, nitric oxide reduces pulmonary artery pressure and improves ventilation perfusion matching 9-11. Moreover, nitric oxide reduces pulmonary vascular resistance in patients with COPD and chronic pulmonary hypertension. How does the nitric oxide delivery system work? A nitric oxide delivery system for adult ventilators has been developed. This is designed to maintain a constant inspired nitric oxide concentration of 16 volumes per million in spite of changes in minute and tidal volumes. In a laboratory test, the system maintained tracer gas concentrations equivalent to nitric oxide 13.8 to 18 volumes per million for tidal volumes of 500, 700, and 900 milliliters. Ventilator rates of 10, 15, and 20 breaths per minute, peak respiratory flow rates of 30, 40, and 50 liters per minute, eye and square sign decelerating ramp flow profiles. How is nitric oxide delivery used with ventilators? Schematic representation of the inhaled nitric oxide delivery system, the nitric oxide gas source was an 850 ppm nitric oxide in nitrogen tank. This gas was mixed with medical air in a gas blender, and the resulting gas mixture was blended with oxygen in the mechanical ventilator. The blender and FiO2 dial were both adjusted to achieve the targeted nitric oxide and oxygen concentrations. Large and small nitrogen dioxide scavengers were placed in series along the respiratory limb. The gas mixture was delivered to the patient via a sealed face mask. Delivered gas was sampled just proximal to the patient, and nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide concentrations were analyzed with a portable gas analyzer. Let's look into the components of nitric oxide delivery systems. Figure illustrating how the nitrogen or nitric oxide is delivered through the mechanical ventilator at bedside in the intensive care unit. Tanks of pure nitric oxide are used in the control group and tanks of 850 ppm nitric oxide are used in the intervention group. Test gas is blended with medical air and enters the air inlet of the ventilator. The high pressure oxygen hose is directly connected to the ventilator. If there is any change of oxygen, the amount of nitric oxide delivered is regulated by the RT by adjusting the blender setting and the ventilator oxygen setting, ensuring that the patient is still receiving the target concentration of 80 ppm nitric oxide. The mixture obtained is then scrubbed of nitric oxide through a large volume scavenger and a small volume scavenger placed in series on the inspiratory limb of the circuit. The final amount of nitric oxide delivered is periodically analyzed with a nitric oxide analyzer directly before the mixture is inhaled by the patient. Illustration how the nitric oxide is delivered into the high-flow nasal cannula device. The test gas is delivered to the system by placing Y adapter before the humidifier. A commercially available blender mixes oxygen and medical air and is regulated by the RT to reach the target oxygen. The flow of nitric oxide is titrated to reach the desired concentration of 80 ppm, no or placebo. This mixture is then humidified and heated to a temperature of 34 degrees Celsius. Let's look into the application of a nitric oxide delivery system. 
Nitric oxide is a strong vasodilator, selectively directed on pulmonary circulation through inhaled administration. In adult intensive care units, it is mainly used for refractory hypoxema in mechanically ventilated patients. Several medical delivery devices have been developed to deliver inhaled nitric oxide. The main purpose of those devices is to guarantee an accurate inspiratory no concentration, whatever the ventilator used, with NO2 concentrations lower than 0.3 ppm. We hypothesized that the performances of the different available inhaled nitric oxide delivery systems could depend on their working principle and could be influenced by the ventilator settings. The objective of this study was to assess the accuracy of seven different inhaled nitric oxides, devices combined with different ICU ventilators, flow by to reach inspiratory, no concentration targets, and to evaluate their potential risk of toxicity. This was the simplified video on nitric oxide delivery systems. Hope you guys enjoyed the information. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.